Well, we have the live feed uh -huh. now. Yeah. We have the live feed. This is the re-entry capsule. Mm -hmm. You can see the ground staff are now checking. Although the picture is not very stable, but we can see the ground staff are making their checking up. Well, we've lost the signal. Mm -hmm. But already we have enough proof mm -hmm. that yeah. this is a perfect landing. Mm -hmm. Okay, live feed again. Those people in white uniform should be medical staff. Right. It's still warm. <laughs> it's yeah. still warm. The capsule is still warm. Mm -hmm. Probably it's not that high temperature, <laughs> right? <laughs> it has cooled down. Yeah, cooled down. We didn't see how they turn off the, the, the entry module from the upside, in the upper right to the yeah. left right. So. We can almost see one astronaut at the oh, at the hatch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We yeah. cannot tell who he is, but obviously he is in good shape. He can move his limbs freely. <coughs> yeah. And having some conversations with the ground staff. And the rescue staff have to follow the procedure on. Yeah, on they the also paper. have a manual to follow. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it should be their job to ensure that everything mm -hmm. is just carrying on the schedule. Mm -hmm. So the landing time is 5 o'clock 38 minutes. So after three days of being in weightless environment, can the astronauts get back on their feet? No problem. I would say no problem. Mm -hmm. They have to you know, suffer, you know, adjust the you know, gravity mm. change from the, you know, the vacuum, almost vacuum to the... They must uh, feel a sense of relief to be back on their feet again. Their, yeah. their, their biggest physiological difficulty at the moment 
may simply be the distribution of blood in their yeah, body. Yeah, right. the when, they, blood. when they stand up, their body has to remember how to adjust how blood to pressure. Pump blood <laughs> yeah. into the brain. Mm -hmm. So they'll stand up slowly. That doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with their muscles. Yeah. <laughs> Because the blood system has been working in the weightless environment for quite some time. Right. Which is very easy on the heart. Because the heart won't use so much power to pump That's right. all the blood right. to the brain. I think the designer should consider such you know factor you know like you know the cross seat and they're going to different position, mm. try to make the body in a good condition, mm. like in the blood circulation things. Mm. They have to consider this, right? Or they get get the trouble in <laughs> get out, even mm. most blood in the hide or. One of the uh, favorite stories of, of doctors of space medicine is that uh, a person with heart trouble would be much better off being in a spaceship. <laughs> the problem is getting him there without killing him. <laughs> At this time, you know, the uh, astronauts actually bring some Chinese uh, medicines on board mm, right. in order to, to treat their uh, motion sickness. Mm -hmm. So do you think the re-entry re module is larger than Shenzhou 6 and Shenzhou 5 because we have three persons on board rather than two? It's still the same? Still the same. Mm -hmm. The ship did not change. We also designed it have uh, three seats. Three seats. Yeah. Then it's a little bit more crowded than the previous two missions. Yes, yeah. very much so. Yeah. Why can't they enlarge the compartment considerably? Oh, that's, a, that's a very big and expensive job. It's like yeah, starting over lot. again. That's a very expensive job. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. We simply don't understand as an ordinary people. The, the only why kind can they have a, a villa rather than an apartment? Well, then they would have had to start from the beginning with a larger design and a larger booster to carry it. A larger booster, booster. carrier. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. For the Central Seven, we already already got the limit of the. Almost the maximum capability of, yeah. of the launch vehicle. And, and this, in, this capsule is already a little heavier than the Russian Soyuz. Mm -hmm. They typically weigh in at about 7,000 kilograms. It, it's because of the payload? It's because of the design? The, 